Hello, my name is Josh Clopadlo. I'm a technical trainer here at Manitowoc Ice. And today we're going to be taking a look at safe mode. I have an Indigo NXT machine here with me today, but I'm also going to cover safe mode in the legacy machines as well. There are some things that are applicable to the legacy machines that do not apply to the Indigo NXT machine. So when we come up to those, I'm gonna put a banner up on the screen and let you guys know that it only applies to the legacy Indigo machines. Let's dive in and take a look. So let's start off, what even is safe mode? Safe mode allows the machine to operate for up to 72 hours using an algorithm and some logic inside of the control board to make decisions based on ice thickness and water level. On the legacy Indigo machines, it was possible to get a safe mode from the water level as well as the ice thickness probe. On the new Indigo NXT machines, we're only looking at the water level probe to get a safe mode. So anything from here out when we talk about the ice thickness probe, it's only gonna be applicable to the legacy machines. Everything that we talk about with the water level probe is going to apply to the legacy machines as well as the current production NXT versions of our ice machines. When you get the safe mode fault, you're gonna usually have it accompanied by one of two other faults, an E19, which is an ice thickness probe fault, or an E20, which is a water system fault. We're gonna start with the E19 fault, as in my opinion, this one's easier to diagnose. There's a few less parameters of what the board looks for when it sets that fault. To start, when you're in freeze mode, the first six and a half to seven and a half minutes, if the control board sees the ice thickness probe hurts, the, the reading of the microphone below 50 or above 15,000 for those first six and a half to seven and a half minutes in freeze, it's going to set that E19 fault as well as the safe mode. Now we're gonna talk about the E20 or the water fault. There's four things that can cause the water fault to activate, but only two of them will cause safe mode to activate as well. We're gonna talk about those two first. The first situation for E20 or the water fault that would occur is that you've never sensed the water high at all throughout the freeze cycle. At the end of that harvest cycle, whether or not there was enough ice to actually go through a proper harvest or if it went on to a long harvest fault, you would then get a E20 as well as a safe mode fault. The second situation that would give you an E20 water fault as well as a safe mode is if your water level low or water level high sensor were still being sensed at the end of a harvest cycle. So now let's talk about what will cause a water system fault or an E20 fault without the safe mode. The first thing would be if at any time you sense water high but not water low, you'll get this error 20, but it will not put you into safe mode. The last thing that would occur that could put you into an error 20, but not a safe mode, would be if your T4, or also known as your evaporator outlet temperature, was less than 10 degrees, six and a half to seven and a half minutes into the freeze cycle. This essentially means you have no load on the evaporator, meaning you probably don't have water to flow over the evaporator, giving you the E20 water fault. So that's the extent of what safe mode is, what causes safe mode, and what you should be looking for in order to figure out why your machine went into a safe mode. From all of us here at Manitowoc Ice, we appreciate you watching another Ice Tech FAQ. Leave a comment below for what you'd like to see next. We do monitor all the comments and we have an extensive list of videos that we're gonna be working on and getting ready and producing for you guys soon. Again, we appreciate you watching. Remember to like and subscribe for more content.